How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So you've got yourself a VPN or you're looking to get yourself a VPN, but you're not exactly sure how to use a VPN. Maybe you're new to VPNs and you're wondering if it's a complicated ordeal. Well, let me tell you, it really isn't. All you need to do is download and install one of these VPNs, just like any other application you'd be downloading and installing. Click Next until it's downloaded and fully installed, and use your credentials to log into the applications. Of course, if you want to grab an exclusive discount, you can use the links down below. And after that, you can just click a single button in the case of ExpressVPN to connect to a server. When it comes to NordVPN, you can just kind of zoom into the map and pick a server, and with Surfshark, you have a list. You still do have a list with NordVPN and ExpressVPN, of course. And that's basically it. Now, if you want to make sure that you're connected to the right server, what you need to do is simply go over to any IP finder and it will tell you your IP address. This is how you can make sure you're connected to the right one. I was just connected to the French IP address right here or French server. And if I switch to, for example, let's just go with the American one, maybe connect to the Dallas server. And the moment I'm connected, I could just give the website a refresh real quick and it will basically change my IP address as it recognizes that I am in Dallas, Texas instead of France. And that's how you can take your own little virtual holiday. And now that I have access to everything from Dallas, it will make it look as if I'm in the United States myself. If there are any streaming services I'd like to access, any websites that are exclusive to the United States, this is how I can get access to them. It's very easy. Now, a few things you want to keep in mind are perhaps a couple of features. Now, with all these VPNs, they all also have a kill switch, a couple of protocols, and split tunneling. With regards to protocols, you can stick to automatic or the fastest one, which is lightweight UDP with Express. If we go to Nord, that'll be Nord Lynx, and with Surfshark, it's the WireGuard protocol. So that's one thing to keep in mind. The kill switch will stop your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. So I just want you to understand that this basically makes sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel. Otherwise, it'll disconnect you from the internet, preventing any rare leaks. And split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. If you don't want your entire computer or device to be affected by the VPN connection, you can use split tunneling. I don't really use it too much unless, for example, I'm torrenting, but I don't want my Steam or Blizzard to be affected by the VPN, I can use split tunneling. So it's a handy feature to have. Okay, so now that you know how these features work, I like to use ExpressVPN by the way, let's say you want to access some sort of, you know, German or Netherlands based service, you could just connect to one of these and you'll be good to go. So for example, if I head on back to my IP address finder, I'll go ahead and refresh, and now I'm in Amsterdam. It's as simple as that. Now, how do you know which one of these VPNs would be the best choice for you? Let's talk a little bit about that to help you make more of an informed decision. After going through multiple VPNs, I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN, this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated in an actual seizure of their servers one time, proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to eight simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. So whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to have the highest levels of reliability, Express is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 7,100 servers in 118 countries. And while more servers doesn't necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads and websites that contain malware, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to work with, and that's where the value of the money comes from, especially since it's about as fast as Express in terms of performance and will let you secure up to 10 devices per subscription. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then NordVPN would be the one to get. And finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. 
Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is more than enough for most people. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions, such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you'd like. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And of course, they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.